this will open up your control panel window. Inside here, if you're looking at this area here, go to category at the top and go large omicons. And then we want to go over to where it says devices and printers. Inside here, you will see your printer. Now, if you're seeing this grayed out uh, printer icon, which is offline, you can see status offline. This is a common problem and I'll show you how to quickly rectify it in this video. So the first thing what we're going to do here is right click on this and go to see what's printing. Then go up to the top left hand corner and hit printer and remove the text from use printer offline and also pause printing. You want to remove those ticks by just clicking on them and removing them. Next up you can go to right click and then come down to where it says troubleshoot on that printer and run the troubleshoot. So this will try to fix any problems that is uh, happening with that printer okay now once that is complete here open network and internet settings inside here you'll see your internet now whether you're using wi-fi ethernet uh, you need to click on uh, that device we're looking for sharing options here so i'm going to go to the ethernet connection because that's what i'm connected to and uh, once you're inside here uh, we want to go to network and sharing center inside here we want to go up to the top uh, left hand side here and you want to click on change advanced sharing settings inside here you want to make sure network discovery has got the radio button on turn on network discovery and turn on to automatic setup for network connected devices make sure you also got turn on printer file and sharing uh, make sure that is all uh, ticked and ready to go you've got the radio buttons in the right one okay otherwise it won't work once you've got all this done you can check your public settings in there as well Next go down to the search box and type services. Inside the services pane here, what we're going to do is look for a uh, print spooler. Come down to the print spooler here, here under the P's. And uh, you should see it inside here. Let me just try and find it here. There we go, print spooler. Now it may be running, if it's disabled then turn it on to automatic. If it is already running, just click stop and then click start and make sure the automatic startup type automatic is enabled okay sometimes it just gets a little bit jammed up just uh, restart that or um, make sure it's running automatic next up right click on the start button and go to device manager inside the device manager go to your printer you can see here printers here is your printer right click on this I'm just going to quickly check to make sure everything is running okay so go to properties you should see this device is working properly and uh, what we can do here is just close this pane off and then right click and go to uninstall device now you've got two uninstall options here the first uninstall will leave the driver on so you can try that method first before you do uh, delete the driver software so try the first method first by leaving the tick out of that box and then you can go up to uh, the top here up to actions just next to view here you'll see action and you can scan uh, for hardware devices inside here and what that will do is find the printer and then it will put the driver back on okay now another thing you can do if that is not working you can right click and uninstall completely from here so if it's still not working uninstall device put the tick in delete the driver software from this device and you should be pretty much good to go next up we're going to go back into control panel and we're going to go back into devices and printers so once we're inside the devices and printers look for your printer and then once you find your printer if it's still grayed out don't worry right click on this and then we want to come down to where it says printer properties so not properties at the bottom printer properties and then look for your ip address under ports configure port and then remove smmp uh, status enabled once you remove this tick you can then apply and okay and hopefully your printer